Super Bomberman R. Platano Games Network here. I'm looking forward to putting up more videos, different games. Before I get started with the uh, story mode, which is basically completing a set of challenges, I'm going to jump in the battle mode so you guys can see what it's like. Uh, let's put strong. Set four. All right, all of this looks good to me. And let's pick a stage that doesn't collapse beneath our feet. So you guys can get the basics. Hmm. Right here. I am going to be a bomber type for some reason. Ca characters from Castlevania are in this game as well as Metal Gear Solid and even Ratchet and Clank. Ape Escape. But I'm going to go with the bomber type. Classic white. This game is very difficult, but once you get the hang of it, you get the hang of it and you just get better naturally. I used to play Bomberman 64 back on the Nintendo 64. Nope! Ah! See, I was trying to remember the remotes and I died. Luckily, I have a chance to get back in the game if I knock down or kill one of these guys a certain way. So I'm gonna try to kill them. That's me trying to get back in the game. Wish me luck because I already messed up as soon as I started. And I'm being nice with my language. I wanted to use another colorful word. Eventually somebody else is gonna die. We're both gonna team up on these guys that are remaining in the match. So Bomberman 64 was incredible for me and my friend. We used to play it almost every day and never get bored of it. It used to get very competitive. I'm trying to kill this red bomber right here. Come on. Not sure if I'm going to be successful in doing that. As they pick up items, the bomb range increases. Come on. It looks like I lost this round. Oh, it was a draw. They died at the same time. I guess I got lucky there. Now I know what button it is to place a bomb. And I will avoid my bomb from killing me. I'm on the top left corner. If you're a fan of the classic Bomberman games and you find this game on a discount, I definitely recommend it. I'm not sure if I recommend purchasing it uh, at a full price. I bought it at a discount. Okay, somebody's already down. Now I can place two bombs. Now I can place the three bombs. Oh, come on! That wasn't even my fault. Okay, okay. Whoever gets four go. stars wins the battle. And then I will begin the story mode so you guys can see what that's like. Come on. So as I was saying, you get a real nostalgic feeling. It's very similar to the old games, but it's also updated, so you have to familiarize yourself with the new concepts. Like getting back into the game. Oh! No! I knew that was going to get dangerous, but as I said, there's a way I could get back into a game. 
Woo! I'm back in. Told you. Now I just have to avoid dying. Uh, I'm kind of getting nervous. I feel so close to victory. Ah, you see, man? What did you expect? As long as the player four didn't get another victory. Unfortunately, there's not many players playing this online, which doesn't surprise me because there's so many games taking up people's attention, particularly Fortnite, Call of Duty, as well as other games. I'm not sure why I'm running super fast right now, but I'll take it. Damn it, man. I underestimate the range of some of these guys' bombs. Let's see if I can get back in this game and actually win a round. Got him. Seems like I'm pooping out a bomb as I take a step. Which is very Ah dangerous! Damn it! <laughs> yeah, I know you guys think I suck at this game, but I put the difficulty at strong. Unless I'm making that up and I forgot that I put it on normal. Draw. I participated in that ending. Just got a trophy. You guys can't see it. But I got a trophy called Combo 5. Let's take a second to see what, it does, what that trophy is about. The bombs exploded as a combo. So that was my bomb, the other guy's bomb. This can't be happening. Come on, I feel pathetic. I haven't gotten a single victory during this battle. What's going on? Oh great, I hate pooping out bombs. No, what the heck? Jesus Christ. I'm not even sure how to punch it. So that was by fate. I have a good chance of winning here. I just gotta keep my distance. Alright. Getting closer. Now I'm moving too fast for comfort. Oh my god, that was close. No! <laughs> kind of trapped myself. Alright, the map is going to start to shrink beneath them. Someone will die. Someone will come out victorious. It won't be me. Hopefully it's player three so that player four doesn't get another victory. Yeah, they're retarded. <laughs> no offense. They're stupid. 
All right, here we go. Ooh, two bombs. Takes a lot of concentration for what looks like such a simple game. I got one kill. I took myself out. All right, come on, this is my chance. Yeah, I won. <laughs> I told you guys, I had it in me. You guys didn't believe me. You guys thought I suck, and I made the comeback. But now I'm tied with the other three players that had one victory. I will come out victorious. I'm nervous about getting that because you never know how I might adjust you. Like now I'm going slow. Sometimes you go super fast. Nope. No! <laughs> I trapped myself trying to catch the other player. But I won't rest just yet. Still have a chance at victory. You see how you can chain the bombs together? Woo, I'm back in. Oh, I guess punching it is a... Uh, Skill that you acquire. Because I just try to punch it. Yeah, I don't like. I'm not getting those skulls no more because I don't like pooping out three bombs at a time. Now everybody has one victory. We're back at square one. Whatever, I'll take it. <laughs> it's just interesting. And now I'm moving super slow, so I instantly regret it. Somebody already took themselves out. Alright, what can I obtain to negate the effect of this goal? There you go. I thought the hand meant that I could punch a bomb. But I guess not. I think I won. Oh my god, how did he dodge that? Gonna get tense any second now. Alright, that has to be the one that allows you to punch it, yeah. Crap! Alright, player two is in the lead. Go easy on me, alright? Seriously, go easy on me, alright? 
I'm gonna go straight for one of the other characters. No more playing around collecting items. Red just came back in. This can't be happening. Jesus, that was scary. This can't be happening. No. Damn it. I know it looked foolish me standing there, but everything happens so fast in this game. You really don't have a chance to think. I'm back in the game. Look how much bombs he's dropping, man. Crap, I knew that was gonna happen. I saw it happen before it happened. But I can still get back in somehow. Just gotta catch the angle. Oh, player four wins. Now me and player three are behind. You want to know how I got these bombs on my way? My father was a bomber and a Nintendo fan. Now mommy being a PlayStation fan didn't like that. So one day she went and grabbed the kitchen knife and daddy didn't like it. Not one bit. So with me watching, Daddy took a bomb and put it in Mom's face and said, Why so serious? Then he came at me with the bomb and said, Why so serious? Let's put a bomb on that face. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Player 2 is about to win. Unless I make the comeback from behind. It's game one. Or rather, game four. Of the 2016 NBA Finals. It's 2003 all over again. Boston Red Sox. Against the New York Yankees. <laughs> I'm just trying to have fun here because I'm miserable. Look at this, I died already. Might as well commit suicide at that point. Not that I'm ever an advocate for suicide. Suicide is wrong on all levels. Come on, come on. What? Finally, I won. All right, keeps the game alive. Anybody but black. Let it be red, blue. But not black. Huh. <laughs> they should add fart noises every time you drop a bomb. He just killed himself. Oh, he tried to kill me too. Alright, I'm gonna try to slow it down because I'm trying to win. This can't be happening. Gonna 
and let them take each other out. They seem determined enough. What's going on? Oh, come on! That bomb exploded way too fast. Try to take out black. Come on, black. Got him. Yeah, I'm getting better slowly but surely. No! <laughs> Get so crowded and crazy. <sighs> This is what happens when you pick the hard difficulty. Unless I'm lying and I pick the standard difficulty. <laughs> but I always love a challenge. I don't know what's the purpose sometimes. Unless you're of younger age. And even then, you should still play on the standard difficulty so that you can adjust and learn and develop. That guy's moving slow, so I'm trying to take advantage of him. Let me try to trap him. No, I trapped myself! <laughs> Damn. Now we gotta kill Red. Watch out, Blue! Watch out, Blue! Got Red! Watch out, Blue, please. Don't die, Blue. I want to win. Jesus, that red is good. <laughs> oh, Black is back in. It might come down to Black. One of these guys will win. Any second now, they're not going to allow us to keep throwing bombs. Great. Either one. I knew somebody was gonna win. I knew it, I knew it wasn't me, to be honest. <laughs> you see that? That's the power of the red bomber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations, red bomber. I gave it to you. I only got one. That's pathetic. <laughs> okay, I got some Gito. Alright. So that was battle mode. Now for story mode. Okay. No, I don't even know where I last saved. New game, yes. I was just checking out the mode. It wasn't an actual playthrough. <laughs> you who dwell in darkness. You who begrudge the light. Awaken. For I now bestow upon you an opportunity for revenge. I feel like I'm on acid. Planet Bomber. The home of the Bomberman Brothers. Eight righteous robotic life forms devoted to keeping the universe a safe place. Day and night, they train diligently. Hey! I told you all to come to today's training. Why weren't any of you there? Diligently. <laughs> what a foolish question. Why would I need to train when I'm already perfect? Just let me sleep a little longer. Mm. Don't worry. I'm ready to fight to defend the universe. So, what is it you want me to blow up? Oh, a butterfly. Whee! Hey, hey, Aqua. Isn't this hair clip wonderful? I think it looks beautiful, but everything suits you, big sister. <clears throat> they train. <sighs> what am I gonna do with these guys? Don't worry, big bro. I know exactly how you feel. You do, Green? 
<laughs> wow. You're the only one who understands me. I'm not strong like the others, though. So I've been thinking about what I can do. And I think that I should eat a burger to build up some body strength. I see, I see. All right, I understand completely. You take this money right here and you eat all the... Wait, what? <sighs> Day and night, they train uh, not so diligently, it would seem. <sighs> I can't take this anymore. Calling all intelligent life forms across space. I am Emperor Bugler. This universe's new ruler. As the first stage of my intergalactic conquest, I have taken the liberty of seizing control of the five main planets of the starry sky solar system. Before long, the planets that all of you inhabit shall too meet the same fate. If you value your lives, bow down and accept me as your ruler. If you disagree, of course you are always free to challenge my faithful followers, the five dastardly bombers, to battle. If you have the courage and the strength to do so, of course. <laughs> This is bad. Looks like it's down to us to save the universe. Come on, everyone. Bomberman Brothers, let's go. I said, let's go. Just another 24 hours, 52 minutes. <laughs> what about our packed lunches? I can't take part in any violence. But I'm scared. Just get in. And so, the battle between the Bomberman Brothers and the Bugler Army begins. White must fight to restore intergalactic peace. The Bomberman Brothers must fight to find some enthusiasm. The fate of the entire universe rests on your shoulders. Or something like that. If I didn't feel like I was at, on acid at the beginning of that, I definitely do now. All right, beginner changes the number of lives and difficulty of the boss and enemies. Let's go with veteran, even though I'm clearly a beginner based off my battle mode that I just had. World one, planet Technopolis. Why do I have a feeling this would make a pretty crazy animated film? Planet Technopolis, the fifth and outermost planet of the starry sky solar system, whose surface is now completely mechanized. Planet Technopolis. Looks like the Bugler army have already turned it into a base. So, so are we just going to head straight in? No, we need to avoid any unnecessary combat. Our top priority is freeing the people of this planet. They must be imprisoned somewhere around here. I hope we can resolve this as peacefully as possible. Red Bomber is ready to bomb! Hey, what are you doing, Red? A true hero never hesitates. Anyway, explosions are the only thing the bad guys understand. Come on, let's do this! W wait a minute! Here, take that! Hey! I said wait! I got you! Will they be all right? Now, I previously tried this story mode. It's pretty cool that you could play with two players. I didn't realize that the first time. I do miss the story mode from Bomber 64, where it was pretty open. Believe in it felt pretty deep as well. And had a bunch of replayability so that you could continue to unlock content for the game, for the multiplayer mode. I believe if Bomberman wants to be taken seriously as a mainstream franchise, they need to expand on their this old... Oh, nothing. they can't touch me? Crazy. They need to expand on their old concepts. And, you know, take the game into a new 
new territory. Kind of be interesting if it was a platformer, similar to um, Mario in terms of the maps. This is pretty simple. It is the first stage, so maybe it'll get more complex as the game goes on. One more. This is like child's play. What do you know? I could advance. I'm sure some of these will have a sort of puzzle effect. Like right now you see the use of the magnets. I can see myself popping this in whenever I want a game that doesn't require too much thought. And I see that there's different enemy types. Alright, who's left? Definitely less tense than the battle mode. Which is pretty insane. Nope! I didn't want to get touched by that enemy and caught myself in a bomb. Maybe the levels will expand as I get deeper into the game. Only time will tell. I'm gonna try to time this magnet. What is that? It looks like an onion. Stage two, clear! I wonder what the boss battles are like. Hidden switches. I still want to defeat the enemies. Either way, I feel like there's some kind of bonus to doing so. Those dark ones are pretty smart. Okay, maybe not that smart. I have two bombs right now, but I'm being careful because the space is pretty closed in. Oh, but that was close. I'm not even sure how many lives I have left. Maybe that's what that five is at the bottom. All right, that's one switch. Woo! Took out two enemies. You're trapped. <laughs> One more enemy remains and then I can find the remaining switches. There's a switch up here, but I still want to kill this enemy. He's dead. Go! Let's see if there's some kind of... Nope, no incentives for killing the enemies. Whoa, this map is pretty big compared to the previous ones at least. It seems like my bombs and attributes continue into the next match. Like the bomb radius as well as the amount of bombs on the place. Two 
for one. Alright, I'm gonna trap him wherever he goes. Nope! Damn it! I caught on late that that was gonna kill me. Yeah, those are my lives in the bottom. I guess everything serves a purpose. Now I know. Alright. Three more enemies. What the heck is that? Okay, I see that he could jump across platforms. There will be no match for my bomb. Okay, maybe he will be. What is that, like a grasshopper? Got him. Two more. I'm gonna play this until I get to the first boss, which I assume will be after the fifth stage or so. How do I get to that guy? Do I gotta break apart the pieces here? Oh, that was close. Yeah. He's dead now. Or not. Clever. Not that clever. So we gotta catch him slipping. Oh my god, I knew that was gonna happen. I saw it after the fact. Oh my god, another life lost. Jesus. I did it. Those bomb radiuses are insane compared to the standard start you have. Another map. And this one is one of the switch ones. So all I gotta do is press the switch. I don't have to kill the enemies. Wow, he jumped right over my bomb. He's dead. Ha! If he lands on it, it just explodes. Okay, I like that certain pieces of the map collapse with bombs. Reminds me of the old game. Clever. Alright, let's put two. No! One life left? Are you kidding me? 
Makes me feel like a noob. All right, let's focus on the switches. He's got a, a distraction. And I see another one on the top left corner. Got the bulls. Ha <laughs> ha! I see that they continue to spawn. Now it's getting tense because I have one life remaining. I feel like I'm playing Pac-Man right now, trying to avoid everybody. Stage six clear. Jesus, this map is kind of big. 17 enemies? This has to be the last map. Is there any way to get another life? I'm dead. Okay. <coughs> Zero counts. <clears throat> Only killed two enemies so far. Make that three. Damn, I knew he was gonna kill me. And I failed, man. What? I'll do it, it's only 300. Okay, seven more lives. I guess those, the currency system comes in handy. All right, so here we go. On to the next section. Oh, I thought I was gonna die. I guess I was right. I definitely intend to complete this game no matter how long it takes I tend to take my time with my games just because I'm always playing multiple games at a time one of the frustrations of operating a gaming channel damn I knew that bomb was gonna kill me I know I keep saying I know these things and then I still allow them to happen but it's pretty fast and unpredictable look at that I really thought he was going to die. See, I need to avoid the bomb there. How did he even get down here? Bomb. All right. Three more. I'm curious to see if there's more stages afterwards. Killed an onion. All right, here we go, two more. Another bomb. I don't know what that blue thing did, but I picked it up by accident.
Okay, one more. Got him. Stage clear. Stage seven clear. Another stage. Only eight this time. I sound like I'm getting frustrated by the amount of content. And it's just because I'm curious to uh, when the adventure, or at least the first part of the adventure ends. Oh my god, that was close. Can't believe I'm getting tense over Bomberman. Oh, my speed went down, I'm guessing. Actually, it feels like it went up. Too nervous to drop more than one bomb, but I could be like, ah! This can't be happening. See, that's exactly why I'm too nervous about dropping more than one bomb. Got him. And one more. Okay, at this point, I'm guessing there's going to be 10 stages before the boss. Oh, it seems like it's happening now. <laughs> so here you are, you meddling intruders. I'm impressed that you managed to make it this far, but you'll wish you never did. Before arriving here, you'll have to make your way past the multitude of mazes that I placed in waiting for you. The swarms of security robots. The thousands of traps. Traps. <laughs> hmm? What's this place? What do you think you're doing? That's not the entrance! What about all my mazes? What about all my traps? Hey, that little guy's mad about something! Don't call me little! I am Magnet Bomber, one of the five dastardly bombers and a commanding officer of this base! Huh? But you're just a kid. I'm not a kid! Huh, think you can make a fool out of me, huh? Now you've made me mad! Just you watch! I don't care how much you beg and cry, I'm going to crush you into little pieces! <laughs> Magnet Bomber's Magnet Bomb will magnetically... <laughs> That's too funny. Magnet Bomber's Magnetic... Wait, Magnet Bomber... Magnet Bomber's Magnet Bomb will magnetically chase after Bomber Man. Make sure to stay away from them. Alright, so one-on-one -on -one battle similar to the multiplayer mode. That's pretty cool. For a boss battle. But how many times do I gotta blow him up? Do I just gotta catch him once? I like his character design, even though he's just another bomber. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. And I gotta watch out for his magnet bombs. <laughs> oh, that one was coming towards me until I turned the corner. 
Oh, Christ. <laughs> ah, I underestimated the radius of the bomb. No! Alright, that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna try to trap him. Without trapping ourselves. Oh, too late. <laughs> Take dropping multiple bombs to defeat him. I was trying to avoid his bomb and went too forward. Christ! What else choice do I have at this point to getting this far? Oh, man. I gotta create some kind of chain reaction that doesn't kill myself. All right, I think I have an idea of how I'm gonna trap him. Jesus Christ, he trapped me. He kind of heard my plan, I guess. Oh my God, he's too good. <laughs> Am I just like pathetic? Can a kid beat this? Oh my God, I'm dropping. tries it's gonna take all right looks like I got him ah, finally even if I had to sacrifice myself that was just the first couple bosses that's crazy what oh what the f okay uh, I'm not sure how to do that but I'm gonna try the robots controlled by the boss can only be hurt by hits to their weak point Look for their weak point. Great. Okay. This seems easier than the last boss, but could be wrong. I guess their legs are. His legs are the weak point. So let me put a bomb here to deter him, to draw his attention. This is kind of cool. I look forward to the other maps and the other bosses. Alright, let's try to create some kind of chain effect. Oh, he just destroyed my bomb.
All right, let's see how many bombs I can put around him. There you go. Now we're talking. Kind of cool. Now I'm just pooping them out like crazy. Ah! Oh, that looks crazy. And he is defeated. Where's my trophy? I guess all my training paid off. Yeah. Planet Technopolis is down. Christ. I used so many continues. And I got a trophy for beating the planet. Oh, new record. One star. How impressive. Jesus. We're going to leave you with the cutscene for the next section. Come on. Why don't you just... Ah! No! I haven't lost yet! I haven't lost yet! Fine by me! I can bomb all day, buddy! Stop! Violence never got anyone anywhere! If we just talk this through... Get out of the way! Hey, wait! I wouldn't do that if I were you! Hmm, what is it? Scared, are you? I said... Calm down, Aqua! Come on! Apologize! Apologize now! No more! I'm sorry! <sighs> That's what they get for making Aqua mad. Oh, Aqua's scarier than anyone when she's angry. So the next time I do this, we will be visiting World 2, which I'm pretty scared of considering how hard World 1 ended up being. And it is called Planet Timber Tree. It sounds like the sneaker or boot brand my mom used to buy me because we couldn't afford Timberlands. My friends at school used to call them Timber Islands whenever I would wear them. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Let's just see what it looks like. Planet Timber Tree, the fourth planet of the starry sky solar system, lush and rich in natural resources, and where ancient ruins lie sleeping. The forest conservation animaloids are running rampant. It seems they're under the control of the Bugler Army. Apparently, the device transmitting the signal controlling them is somewhere in these woods. Well, good luck, big bro. We'll just wait here for you and take a nap. This backwater planet is no place for a cool guy like me. We're all going. All of us. If we check it out now, we won't be able to bring peace to the universe. Ha! <laughs> What's wrong? N nothing. Never mind. Anyway, all of you stick close to me. It's dangerous here. So make sure you don't get separated, no matter... Big bro? What is it now? Yellow isn't here. Oh, is that all? Yellow's always wandering off somewhere. He's always... Always... Ah! 